I'm going to start off by showing you the ingredients that are going to go into the summer squash and chicken bake that Kim um, videoed for us the other day, which looks so delicious. Mine's a little bit different, but not by much. I will give you Kim's link to her video in my description box, and I will also put what I did in the description box in terms of a recipe. I'm just not going to put the step-by-step. Um, -step. I'll just put, because that's all in Kim's video, and you'll see most of it here. Okay, so starting off, I have one and a half pounds of summer squash, which I have steamed in my microwave and drained. I have a pound of ground chicken breast here from the butcher. I have a chopped onion. I have, uh, I'm sorry, I hope I'm not making you dizzy. Okay, in Kim's recipe, it calls for three quarters of, let me just double check myself, three quarters of a tablespoon of salt, one quarter teaspoon of pepper, and one quarter teaspoon of dried thyme for, um, when you saute the chicken breast. So what I've done is instead, I've made the equivalent of between garlic clowder and Mrs. Dash chicken, because I don't cook with a lot of salt. Um, I've done the three quarters of a teaspoon of that combined, give or take, and I put in a quarter teaspoon extra of thyme. Mrs. Dash does have the thyme in it, but I added it anyway. Okay, I hope I didn't make that too confusing. I have a way of doing that. So um, I'm gonna first saute off my onion with the seasonings uh, in a pan, nonstick pan that I coated with some olive oil spray. I'll add in the chicken and I'll saute it all off together because I like my onions very soft um, and I do like them sauteed. So that's just something I'm doing. Now what we have here is um, a quarter cup of wonder flour. I'm using Velveeta cheddar shreds and um, that brought my, for my personal points, which is my own, and you have your own if you're on Weight Watchers, and my bites, it brought it down to four per serving. Um, this makes six servings, by the way. Okay, so six ounces of that. I have two cups of skim milk, and I'm gonna add in a quarter teaspoon, I believe it is, of salt to this sauce that I will be making on top of the stove. And then what I've done is I've taken two slices of my um, Fit Active Aldi multigrain bread. I toasted off two slices yesterday. I let it sit sit out to dry out. And then I took some Mrs. Dash chicken seasoning and um, I put it through the Nutribullet to make some breadcrumbs. This did not change the points for me on bites or on um personal points for Weight Watchers. I will talk about the nutritional facts per serving in the video when I have it for my dinner for the um, Power Fuel and the Smart Carb. Okay, so on to my next step. I have sauteed my onions, stirring them around a couple times, covered for about, I don't know, five minutes or so, so they're ready to go, and I'm gonna add in the chicken. The chicken is about ready. I made sure to get all the liquid off. I did not add anything other than the spray um, olive oil to this. No, no additional fats in case anybody was wondering. And I'm gonna now add in the drained squash and I'm gonna transfer this over to the baking dish. Next up is gonna be the sauce. Okay, I had to take this off. This, this cooked up in like, no time at all. Um, I, I did mine a little bit differently because I don't have a lot of um, shoulder power and I'm dominant right hand and my right shoulder is not so good. So I took my Wander flour and my milk and I put it in the Nutribullet first and I poured it into the pan. And um, this looks really nice. So now I'm going to add in the, um, I cooked it, you know, it was already mixed together and I just had to let it get heated up. So I'm going to add in the cheese. I'll be right back. So here I've added in the cheese, and basically I've shut off my burner. This is a hot burner. Um, I have an electric stove, so I don't want to burn anything. So I'm just going to mix this all together, and you'll see the finished product when I pour it over the top of the uh, casserole. Just keep cooking it on low a little bit. 
until it's all nicely incorporated. Okay. This looks heavenly. I haven't tasted it yet, but Kim, thank you so much for doing all the work for us in tweaking the original recipe. Genius, coming up with that wonder flour and um, cooking this up with so much less points. It's almost like amazing to me how low points and calories this dish is actually going to end up being. And you know I love cheese, Kim. So this is making me very happy. Okay, let me put this to the side. I'll be right back. Okay, we are all ready to go. Chicken and squash topped off with that luscious, oh my goodness, cheese sauce. Uh, topped off with some uh, breadcrumbs, which you can see I have all this left. So I think that that is probably one slice. Would have been more than good enough. And I did have to, of course, put some more of this chicken, Mrs. Dash. Um, I do really enjoy my food to be well seasoned. And that's probably because I don't use a lot of salt. I'm not really sure. Um, but I'm going to put this in the oven and we'll see what we have when it comes back out. Yum. And through the magic of video, a half hour has passed. This is still bubbling and it smells heavenly. And I am going to come back after it cools down enough to plate it up. Here we are. What I've done is I prepped up some Barilla uh, Protein Plus penne. And I put the chicken casserole over top. I'm not going to give you nutritional facts here. I will put the macros along with my ingredients for this recipe into the description box for this video along with Kim's link. Thank you again so much for Kim for making this recipe and tweaking it. Uh, please go over to Kim's channel and give her a lot of love. Give her, watch her videos, give her some likes and please subscribe. She has so much great um, information to share for those of us who are on a weight loss journey and even for those of us in maintenance like me now. So on that note, thank you very much for watching. I hope this video um, was enjoyable for you and that you try this delicious recipe out. Thanks again, Kim.